I'm Adolfo from Portainer. In this video, I'll talk about securing your Portainer instance. Portainer is an exceptionally privileged piece of software as it has near root level access to your container infrastructure. So securing Portainer should be the first thing on your list, especially if you need to expose Portainer over the internet. First up, let's talk about Portainer's admin user. Use a non-standard admin username and a complex password. For example, don't use admin or root for username. Always change it to something unique. Use this account only as a break glass account. So use an extremely complex password. Do not use dictionary based words. Next, consider using a secure external authentication mechanism. You can use LDAP, Microsoft Active Directory, or OAuth. With OAuth, you can configure two factor authentication or multi factor authentication. Both Portainer Community and Business Edition support LDAP and OAuth out of the box. Business Edition, however, makes it easy by giving you click to configure convenience for several popular options. Instructions with examples on how to configure external authentication are available in our documentation, and I've shared a few links in the description below. If you must use Portainer's internal authentication mechanism, make sure all your users in Portainer have complex passwords. Always use the latest version of Portainer. For some time now, Portainer has added support for HTTPS on port 9443 alongside HTTP using port 9000. We strongly recommend switching to HTTPS and turning off HTTP. This is very easy to do in Portainer UI. Go to settings and under SSL certificate, you can toggle the force HTTPS only option. You may choose a certificate file and private key if you want to provide your own certificates. Otherwise, Portainer will use a self-signed certificate. Simply apply changes when you're done. Make sure you are able to access Portainer on HTTPS before you turn HTTP off. Once you force HTTPS, you won't be able to use HTTP anymore. From a more broader access perspective, consider using Portainer via VPN instead of opening it up to the internet. If you must make it public, consider network ACLs on your firewall, whitelisting trusted IPs, or geo-blocking countries that won't need access. Check out some of our other videos or have a look at our documentation. Thanks for watching.